Hey YouTube, Urban Rednecks here, and today we're going to be doing another how-to video. This one's going to be on the Carolina rig, how to tie it and how to use it, basically. So first up, we're going to talk about the things that you need in order to tie this rig. So first up, you need an offset round bend hook, or any incline hook would do. I just prefer offset. And then you're going to need a bead with a hole in between. You're going to need your sinker. Any choice, bolt weight or regular sinker, just make sure it has a hole in it and not one of the tie on ones. You're gonna need a barrel circle, kind of like that. And you're going to need your bait. This is just a straight tail trick worm, nothing fancy about it. And then for line, you're gonna need the line that's attached to your rod. So this is attached to your rod, and then that's the tag end right there. You're going to need that, and then you're going to need a leader, same type of line, just this one's cut off from the main line, so it's separate. And I like to have this about 14 to 18 inches long, this one just happens to be around 16, I think. Alright, so first up, you're going to want to take the uh, line that's attached to your rod, and then you're going to want to take your bolt weight or any type of sinker, put it through that hole. So it kind of sits in the line like that. And just put it there for now. And then you're going to want to take your bead, the one that has a hole in it. And you want to slide that right onto the line right after the sinker. So that way it kind of looks. Something like that. They're both sliding up and down the line for you. Then you're gonna want to take your barrel swivel right there. Then you're gonna want to put the line right through the top hole. Just something simple like that. I didn't do a nice knot because I'm just trying to show you in the video, but you get the idea. So that way, it kind of looks. If I can get it the way it would look on the line. So it looked like that kind of. You get the bow swivel right there, then you get the feed, and then you got the sinker. And this is connected to your line, so this will be coming off your rod. And then you're going to want to click the tag end. I don't have scissors with me, so I'm just going to leave it there for now. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take your leader, whatever length you prefer. And then you're going to want to take it, put it right through the other end. So the line that's from your rod is connected to the top one, and the leader is going to connect it to the bottom one. Then you're just gonna want to tie your knot. Any knot you prefer, it's your choice. I'm just doing a quick, simple little thing. Just get the bait moving faster so we're not sitting here tying a knot for 10 minutes. And right there, it should look something like that. Now, again, you want to clip the tag ends, but I don't have scissors, so I'm just gonna have to deal with it. Then you want to take your hook and tie it on to the other end of the leader. So again, any knot that you prefer, perfectly fine with you. And then clip the tag end. So all in all, once it's done, you'll have the front of it look like that. And this end is attached to your rod. And then you get the leader. And then you get the hook on the end. And then you're just gonna wanna take your bait kind of just, I prefer a Texas rig probably, like how to hook it, I'm just going to take it, put it through the top a little bit, bend it out, I'm trying to do this on camera but it's kind of hard to show you exactly. So 
And then you just have your Texas rig, your worm, or lizard, or creature, whatever you want to use. You can use basically any soft plastic. I just prefer to have a straight tail worm because that's what seems to have the most luck with me. So just to recap, on the, the line that comes off your rod, you're going to have the sinker, then the bead, then the barrel swivel, and then on the other end of the barrel swivel, you're going to want to tie on your leader, and whatever length you prefer to cut it, cut it, and then tie on your offset hook, and then right there you put your soft plastic of choice. So, Urban Rednecks here, and that's how to do a Carolina rig. So, like, comment, subscribe.